Hello, I'm Danny DeLillo and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. We're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood and I'm here with John McCracken and Danny Finn with their movie, Some Life Outlived. Let's take a look at a clip. It's just that um, there are some things that we should talk about. Uh, okay. Good stuff, bad stuff. Oh, just, uh, meet me in the living room when you're ready, okay? Okay, uh, not gonna lie, you're kind of freaking me out right now. I know. I'm sorry. It's just that there's something I need to tell you before we move forward. So guys, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Um, Thank you. It's lovely to have you here and uh, share your film. Uh, tell us a brief synopsis. Uh, the movie is about uh, the two characters, Abby and Reese, who uh, haven't seen each other for about six years. They used to be romantically involved. And they're coming back together again. And Reese has a confession that's going to kind of push the boundaries of what Abby thinks is even possible. It really does. If you haven't seen this, it, it, it's really quite incredible. Um, now. Firstly, you, you wrote the film. How mm -hmm. did you come about the idea of it? Uh, there's this book called Replay by Ken Grimwood, and it's kind of the same concept, but it's all very large scale, and he never has to, he's living his life over and over again, and he never has to tell anyone uh, about it to kind of convince them that it's happening. And I was like, well, what would happen if you had to convince someone you loved that this was actually happening? So I took like the big concept and shrunk it down to a very small scale. And you know, speaking of the of, of the characters, Danny, you you, uh, you found these gems of of you know these characters, but these wonderful actors. Um, how was that process? How did you find them? We um, we had known uh, Ryan Welsh, who played Reese. Mm -hmm. uh, I've known him since since college. We met at UC Irvine years and years and years ago, and he was in one of my student films there. And it was such a, a pleasurable working experience with him that um, when this role came up. Um, John was already familiar with Ryan, and mm -hmm. so we brought him in to read, and as soon as he came in, he was Reese. And from the second he started talking, it was, it was Reese. Um, and he, like I, I uh, both of them, both of the actors, Jamie Elvie, uh, Elvie, sorry, uh, is also uh, married to him, who, who played Abby, and they are the perfect intersection uh, between it's a great chemistry, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah it's great chemistry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, the movie starts with them in bed, and that wasn't, you know, it was, there was <laughs> yeah. no awkwardness yeah. for them. They're yeah, like, exactly. yeah, we do this every time. Oh, that's, yeah. that's why it looks so, yeah, it looked pitch perfect. That was good. Yeah, <laughs> really great. And, I mean, they, they are so professional mm -hmm. on top of being so incredibly talented yeah. that they, we didn't have the budget for a, a script supervisor. So they were doing their own makeup continuity and their own hair continuity and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, Ryan Welsh draw, drew out his own wardrobe options for us yeah. uh, wow, and fantastic. gave us these great artistic renderings of, of uh, options for his wardrobe. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of IMDb credits, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 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 I mean, everyone was 15 roles, you yeah. know, and yeah. so that was, that was great. Yeah. I, think, I think the film was so interesting is that we're all very fascinated by the idea of like afterlife or mm -hmm. coming back as a different person. But you, as a writer and as a director, you took a slightly different edge because you kind of actually looked at more, more the essence of reality of what it actually would be like, rather than kind of taking it to a, you know a comedic level where we can all kind of like laugh at it. Yeah. Was that something that was 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 quite defiant for you to kind of tr take it a different way? Yeah, I think from the beginning we just knew because it's kind of it is a big concept. Um, we knew that you can kind of get carried away with it and. And we even had written some flashbacks and stuff and yeah. seeing pieces of Reese's life um, from before, but it just it felt better to just stay with what was happening here because um, the movie's really from Abby's perspective because you as an audience are in the same position as her yeah. being asked to believe something that's unbelievable. Yeah. So. Well, I can actually say, I think in uh, New Filmmaker's uh, history, I saw one of the best duo scenes, which is, um, I'm not going to give too much away, but you, the scene where... You know, they can kind of confront this, you know, situation together. Mm -hmm. um, was there anything specific in your directing that you kind of wanted to sort of approach with that? Because it's quite obviously a, 
a subject you don't really say to your other half very often, is it? <laughs> yeah, it was something that we knew um, very early on in pre-production that it had to be extremely intimately told visually, that there was gonna, we were going to really remove any sort of attempt at, at style and not really yeah. call any attention to form and really hand it over to our amazing cast mm -hmm. and just kind of keep it very tight and, and on their right here and, and let them let them emote and yeah, allow the audience to kind of get lost in that in that performance there was no reason to do anything else but to just subtract and to just allow it to to play, play out to play on yeah yeah, yeah. um now you may look like it flowed so very very well thank you so much um nice. but what would you say was your kind of biggest challenges making this film um Cutting it down was yeah. a big challenge. Cutting it down? It, was... it wanted to be a feature? Is that what you're saying? Or... No, no. <laughs> no, just, it was weird. Our first short we did was 24 pages, and then once, even like at the first assembly, it was 17 minutes. And it was mm -hmm. like, oh, that's nice. Very good. Um, this one was 20 pages, and our first assembly was 24, 23? 23 minutes. 23 minutes. Yeah. So it was just <laughs> cutting all, all the fat out. Yeah. And, um, and it's a great learning experience as a writer to do it as a director because you're like oh look at all this stuff that was un unnecessary on the page so that was a big challenge what else what other challenges do we have the actual production itself went off yeah without really a well. hitch and that's to no credit of our own that is our entirely crew. because of our casting crew yeah they were so professional so great they that knew how to do what we needed them to do yeah i mean john and i were sitting at video village for these three days that we filmed and we were just having a ball mm -hmm. you know and it seemed like that that sort of was infectious and the crew was really having fun too yeah. there was no yeah. there was no ego and there was no tension and everyone was having fun at lunch and it was just this, when it was over it was like no this can't be over let's write some more stuff to <laughs> yeah. film right now um now what's kind of like next for you working together yes for the 24th oh, year of your, of your career <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah no. we're i mean we're I'm writing clinging on, to this clinging on. <laughs> <laughs> we're writing a feature right now fantastic and, uh, just trying to make that as great as we can and then see where we go from there. Yeah. yeah. You've had a good rapport, but you've had it since you were seven, right? So that's, that's yeah. correct. That's yes. probably why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's a pretty easy directing team. If one of us will have a note and we'll go up and say it and the other one will be like, that, well, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say so, that. See, <laughs> oh, just start the Coen brothers, brilliant. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I mean, after all the, you know, all the wonderful, you know, going through pre-production, production, post-production, post -production, What's it li like to finally have your film, you know, officially selected for New Filmmakers Los Angeles? It's very satisfying to be able to finally look at it as a, as a final product um, and say, okay, that's going onto the shelf where I can kind of admire it and other people can admire it, hopefully. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's very, very satisfying. Yeah. It's an immense relief, <laughs> yeah. you know, to finally have it done and in a form that people can watch it and not be like, well... D it, you know this isn't perfect that isn't perfect <laughs> yeah. yet now I feel like it's at a place where it's just like I can just show it to someone mm -hmm. and you had actually one of my favorite um, my favorite songs like and it, the score that, that underlying uh, beautiful song that's in the background it's just mm -hmm. so soothing a huge oh, yeah. huge shout out to Adam Fizell Adam Fizell another UC Irvine alumni yeah who just did a phenomenal job again one of the myriad of, of people working for us for, for peanuts yeah. you know just doing it because of the relationships that we've maintained with these people. And I mean, he, he, he came back the first night with a sketch of a song, you know, yeah. and just said, I, I'm moving, I'm packing up all these boxes. I just looked at it and this is what I wrote. And we were like, that's, that's, that's it. That yeah. is the Phenomenal. melody for the movie. Yeah, it's funny, our com out of all of our conversations with every person in the, in the movie, it was like the actors and the composer were the most emotional. Like yeah. you needed to talk about emotion and like, this is how they're feeling. This is what's going on. Um, and he just, took that and ran with it. Yeah, we had to give him the most odd notes, like, we need the music to be hauntingly nostalgic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he would go. metabolize that note yeah. beautifully, and we would get exactly that. And it yeah. was just like, how do, you, how do you give music notes when you don't know how to write music or how to play an instrument? Right. It's, very, it's a very interesting thing to, to try to figure well, out. Well, I mean, I think, it's, I think it's great that you can, in a short film, you know, short independent film, captivate an audience and actually leave us away feeling like, wow, what, what if that... What if that actually happened, you know? Um, and I think congratulations to you guys for, you. for, for, for doing you so that. Much. Um, and everybody had a great time. And uh, please 
watch it if you haven't seen it. it it's, it's, it's really, truly wonderful, quite an experience. And uh, we look forward to seeing a lot more of your careers. And thank you very much for, uh, for joining us. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.